Hey, I'm Nick from Driving Slow Motion, and this is my pedal board. So this is my pedal board. Uh, me and the guys, we've nicknamed this thing Apollo. And uh, when I designed and built this board, uh, I had it with the intention of kind of my role in our band. And uh, so my, my role in our band is more of the eerie, atmospheric sounds. And so uh, just that went into play whenever I was designing this thing. I also wanted it to be a very uh, minimal signal flow chain and uh, low noise. And so, uh, yeah, this is what came out. And uh, I've had this board for two years. I have written all of my parts and recorded all of my parts on our album Arda using this thing. And uh, two years is a long time for me because I was going through about every three to four months I'd be changing, changing up a board. And uh, <clears throat> it was getting to just be annoying and uh, I hated doing that. So I have had this for two years and I've been very happy with it. So I wanted to kind of take you through my signal flow, the pedals that I use, and uh, yeah, just start going through it. So, uh, well, let's talk about the board first. Uh, the actual board is a Temple Audio Trio 28. That's the size and that's the brand. Uh, thank you, Temple Audio. This thing is awesome. Um, it just holds up. It's super easy to, I'm pretty, I'm very OCD when it comes to wiring. And so I wanted a board that looked super clean and I didn't have to mess with. So once it was wired, it was wired and I wanted to commit to it. So <clears throat> yeah, use this board and uh, I really love it. Um, let me talk through my signal flow. It goes through the actual board itself. It has an input uh, module. They have a, Temple Audio has a bunch of different modules, but I go through an input on the board that goes into the Goodwood Audio Interfacer, the uh, TX version. From there, it goes into the Line 6 HX effects. Then it goes to the uh, Empress Echo System, into the uh, Strymon Big Sky, back into the Interfacer. And that's my sig, and then it goes out to the amps. Like, I can either, you know, depending on the amount of amps I'm using and things like that. But that's my signal flow. It's super minimal. And uh, I had to get a little creative when <clears throat> when doing that because I have a bunch of other pedals on here and how I'm controlling those and on all of that. So let me take you through the rest of those. Uh, you know, going in from that interfacer, it actually has a, a tuner out. So I have my polytune uh, in there. That thing's just always on. That tuner is, I mean, I'm constantly tuning if I'm not playing, just to make sure. But the interfacer has, um, I can sub-mod my signal. I can either go mono or stereo, depending on what the venue has or what I'm playing. It has a ground loop, or like a, yeah, ground loop, uh, in case there's some like noise from power and things like that. And uh, yeah, from there it goes into that HX effects. Now this thing is the main reason why I have not had to change my board in two years. I would say like, this is the brain of, of my board. Um, basically, it replaced all my drives that I was using. I had about five stages of drives in the past and I A beat it to uh, all of my drives in this thing. It just, I was just very surprised by it. So uh, Line 6 did a really good job with this thing. Um, anytime that I wanna like try a new pedal out, or a different effect or anything like that this has every like effect out there almost uh, so I you know use this for my drives use it for ambient type sounds uh, reverbs and modulations things like that and it also has two effects loops and that's when the counterpart to what I would say the HX effects is like if this is the left side of the brain the disaster area DPC-8EZ uh, Gen 3. Basically, it's a true bypass looper with the brain. All the other pedals that you see on here are going through this, that then attach to the HX, uh, the effects loops on the HX. And uh, so it's got 
basically two loops in this looper and I have certain effects that go through this. So the first loop I'll go through is, um, I'll just call it the green channel. Um, it has the e, Strymon El Capistan. I really love this thing. It's got like reverb built into it. And I use this, I, I like to stack delays. So I typically stack this with the echo system or if I just need a really washed out fast picking part, um, I blend this into it. Um, it also has the Electro Harmonics Super Ego Sibgen. I'm a huge fan of like latching and creating, I have about six or five or six pedals on here that will latch. And I like to stack them and create kind of like an undertone and atmosphere and then right on top of that. And uh, that's what I use the Super Ego for. I have that mainly on Shadow and Flame and uh, that's kind of just creating this cavernous sound. And then I have the Walrus Audio Julia. That is a chorus, like vibrato pedal. <clears throat> the setting that I, they have this like really cool, what I think sounds like a warped vinyl, like on a record player that's just, it has that kind of a sound to it. And that's how I use this thing. And it just, I, I feel like it kind of widens my sound. So I really like that. Uh, then I have the Rainbow Machine by Earthquaker Devices. That thing is sick. Like, it's got some effects on there. I have it taped down on the knobs because it's super sensitive. If I just like slightly move one of these knobs, it will change the whole effect. And uh, I, I wrote some of my parts on Arda that, that require that pedal to sound a very certain way. So I just taped it down. Um, that's that's why this electrical tape is on there but that thing is sick like one of my favorite pedals ever made uh, it's just very unique and so <clears throat> that's the uh, first effects loop so all of that is it goes into this this uh you know uh, disaster area true bypass looper basically and then into the line six hx so the second loop has the Walrus Audio uh, Slow. It's, uh, that is just an awesome reverb. I'm a huge fan of reverb, obviously, but it has a latch on there that I like to use. Uh, as I said before, I really like latching. It has just this like very deep uh, reverb sound that I like. And then I have the Electro Harmonics Mel 9. That has a bunch of different effects from like, orchestras and choirs and things like that. <clears throat> Again, me playing a lot of those cinematic sounds in our um, in our album, that thing is used quite a bit throughout the album. And uh, it's, just, it's just really unique. It doesn't sound like a guitar when you use it. And then I have the Electro Harmonic Synth 9. Uh, that's just a sick chorus, like, or er, chorus, uh, <laughs> synthesizer. Uh, I, I'm kind of a guitarist that wishes I played keys, but I'm a guitar, so that's why I have this thing. Uh, and then the last one, it's actually a test loop. So I have a device, um, it's, I forget what it's called, but it's from Goodwood Audio. It's mounted under the board, uh, and it goes into the True Bypass Looper, which again goes into the HX effects. Anytime I want to like test a new pedal out, or uh, tr you know, try something new, I can plug it into that without having to rewire anything. So that's been really awesome whenever I'm testing something out. Uh, also, I should mention that the this volume pedal right here, it's the Dunlop um, Mini Volume X. It is not in the signal chain, but what it's actually, how I have it set up is a, a, a what do you call it, an expression for the HX volume. So it is a volume pedal. I'm using it as a volume, but it's technically an expression pedal for volume on the HX. So again, I had to get a little creative just trying to keep the signal flow um, minimal. So uh, it's, it, it's awesome. I love this thing. It's got a really small footprint so I can have more pedals on here. Otherwise this Wal Walrus Audio Slow wouldn't be on here. But that thing's awesome. Um, Let's see, what else do I got? Oh, uh, I have a time clock 
disaster area from a disaster area and that just basically controls my BPMs for my ecosystem uh, I it's very important for me to always be on time and to know which song I'm on so I use this pretty religiously on every song that we ever play and then I have another controller by disaster area it's the DMC 4 I believe gen 3 uh, this version has a latch again I love latching um, <coughs> And uh, that controls the Strymon Big Sky. So I can you know, switch on the fly, it's a little harder to get to, so I just use this controller. Uh, and the Big Sky is, I would say, like the most important pedal on my board and that affects my sound. So if I had to go with like one pedal on this entire thing, it would be this Big Sky. I've uh, manipulated a few sounds like to my, my personal preference and uh, things like Shadow and Flame on our album, uh, you know, we couldn't play without this pedal. So this thing, it just sounds huge. And, uh, and I love this thing. So yeah, uh, talked about my signal chain, talked about the HX, how it controls basically everything. Um, that's my board. And uh, I don't think I'm gonna be changing it anytime soon. Let me know what you think. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, Y'all have a good night.